Good evening. This is CTV News for Monday, May 6th. I'm Patricia Vallone. Thanks for joining us. Well, a mother and son are facing jail time for allegedly stealing money from their 93-year-old neighbor. Barbara and Terrence Stevens of Glen Arden have been indicted for defrauding and stealing thousands of dollars from a woman who was moving to a nursing home. State's attorney Aisha Braveboy says the scheme started when the pair was asked by the victim's relative to collect her mail. According to Braveboy, the duo instead used the woman's money to pay personal and utility bills. Because of her relative noticing that there were some discrepancies when they finally got uh, the, the bank to send him directly the account information that he d was able to determine that her money was being used to pay for the uh, bills of her neighbor. Victims of financial abuse, uh, regardless of the amount, um, often uh, not, not just suffer from the loss of the money, uh, but then they also suffer uh, from loss of trust. And when you are um, a senior and you have to rely on other people to assist you with daily tasks, uh, it's important that you have a level of trust. Now the two have been charged with theft and conspiracy. They could spend more than a year behind bars. U.S. Senator Ben Cardin introduces legislation that could help students to graduate with a college degree debt-free. It's called Strengthening American Communities Act. The measure also highlights public service careers, such as first responders, teachers, and health care workers, among others. The program would pay for the last two years of a person's tuition in exchange for three years of public service. Several initiatives. Two parts of this. First, it means that higher education will be more accessible to families families who otherwise today have to make other choices, you just can't afford to, mm -hmm. to go into such debt or, or they make uh, different options. So I think that's part of it. Secondly, it will provide more people going into public service, more young people going into public service, and hopefully many will make that their career. So it does help our firefighters, our first responders. It does help our teachers in education. It does help in public health and social work. So there's different areas where it will provide uh, more workforce uh, opportunities uh, for these areas that are important for our community. And the legislation also creates an accelerated public service loan forgiveness program for eligible applicants. Well, it is a positive day, or D-A-Y, which stands for Deputies Assisting Youth. The middle school mentoring program is expanding across the county as part of a new memorandum of understanding between the Prince George's school system and the sheriff's office. We started with a small number of our middle schools and working with the individual principals and in the schools of those middle schools to help improve the environment and the circumstances for our children so that they can soar and excel. And this year, we've been at, with the uh, partnership with the CEO, we've been able to broaden it so that it goes beyond individual schools to the entire system. We look forward to a great partnership over time to make sure that we touch all of the children in our middle schools and help them to have the greatest learning environment they can possibly have. And for more information about the Positive Day program, you can log on to pgsheriff.blogspot.com. Well, Montgomery County residents are protesting the governor's plans to expand and build toll lanes on Interstates 495 and 270. Governor Larry Hogan says his plan aims to reduce traffic congestion. However, many fear that countless homes and businesses will be torn down in the process. They spoke out at a town hall meeting in Silver Spring yesterday. The meeting was organized by Montgomery County Council Member Tom Hucker.